Okay, it's going. Alright guys, uh, welcome to Pixel Entertainment. This is CP Hacker 95 Lord of the Crazies, one, two, three. And New Thunder. Uh, we're back for Retro Weekend, motherfuckers. Yeah! Woo! And uh, in the background you're gonna see a little bit of Crash Team Racing and some Tony Hawk. Project 8, fucking love that game. It's a goddamn bum chasing after me, trying to get my, trying to get one of rank check their socks. <laughs> Faggot. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, All right. So. So we're gonna be talking about um. Spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. For movies. There's gonna be a shitload of spoilers, guys. Yeah. We're you don't like it? Turn off the video. Yeah, we got Robert Darren Jr. joining Captain America three. Basically, what's gonna happen is possibly Tony Stark being the villain or the bad guy. What's your guys' thoughts about this? Wait, are you sure it's not just Robert Downey Jr. playing the character? Because they can't really throw in Tony Stark into the past. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Robbie Downey. Sorry, guys. Robbie Downey Jr. is gonna be a villain now. Sorry guys, spoiler. <laughs> but no, actually, it's Tony Stark joining uh, Captain America three. Hmm. What do you guys think about being Tony Stark being a villain? Because basically, villain. what I got out out of the whole thing I read was superhero the superhero recognition or wow registration act. Basically, all the superheroes they be having superpowers. You gotta go sign up and then possibly get hunted down. What the fuck? Yep. Dude, that sounds awesome. <laughs> that, yeah, that'd be amazing. That'd be a pretty good movie. But what about what, what do you what's your thoughts about Tony Stark being a villain? Uh, Since he's being Iron Man. Him being seeing him as villain, it would make sense because all the like he has guns, all the guns and shit that he has. Do you he, think they're going to introduce the, not introduce, but put in uh, the War Machine too? I don't know if that's a possibility. You know, I really don't have any idea. They're the protectors of the Earth. No, that's actually the Avengers, but... But also another thing that you're going to... What I read is Ant-Man, the movie. Oh, well, everybody already knows about Ant-Man. I know. But, uh... Besides Ant Man, what else do you have on there? Um, let's see. I got more Superman rumors of plus the of the Sinister Six. Superman? I mean Spider Man. <laughs> don't worry. It's not like one o'clock. No, it's like one fifty. So uh, don't worry. Yeah, and then including the oops, uh. Sensor six. Uh, about including the Sinister Six before they can do the Sinister Six, they're gonna have to put out the Venom, mo uh, Venom and Carnage movie out. Oh, I can't wait for that. Oh, dude, that's gonna be good. But I want to see how they're gonna do with this uh, special effects with Venom, cause he's not really, he doesn't have a humanoid form. He's more like a flowing entity of purely liquid. Just play it. They'll they'll know what they're they know what they're doing. It's yeah. Horrible, well, Dave. well, you also got to think Carnage is the same way too. I haven't really followed much of the Spider-Man universe, comic-wise. That is, so I I don't really know a lot about Venom and Carnage, but that does sound badass for a movie. Well, yeah, and they're gonna do a soft reboot for the Sinister Six, and then possibly. Uh, they're going to do a cross. It could be a crossover with the Avengers for Spider Man. For the amazing Spider Man. Oh, the one that. No, isn't it Sony that owns Spider Man right now? Marvel. Marvel does too. Uh, so a crossover. I think Marvel and hmm. Sony are going back and forth with it just to see if they can. So you it's know. it's finally happening then. Well, yeah, because you got to think, like, Spider-Man was part of the Avengers plus multiple other... It's about damn time. ...superheroes. 
But there, but there will be a soft reboot, and then there's the. But there was apparently a, con or a cancellation on the Venom movie. What? Yeah, like. It got canceled. Well, not like a cancellation. Like more, they're gonna push it back. Not a cancellation. Oh. If they do cancel it, then there's gonna be a lot of upset nerds. It's, it's yeah. not. <laughs> it's not cancellation. It's a delay. Well, how uh, the article said, what I read, cancellation. But I kept on reading it was more like a pushback than more than anything. Oh, okay. But then we got Avengers 3. The stars are leaving from phase 1 and 2 of the Avengers. Oops. Yeah, a lot of big name... Uh, Robbie Downey Jr. Big name actors are leaving. Uh... Scarlett Johansson was another one that got named for Black Widow. Um, so and after then Chris Evans and Chris Evans, I mean, so they're all leaving uh, Marvel after Avengers two then, possibly. Oh great! But there's gonna be a big crossover for the Battle of uh, Thanos. Thanos. Than is it Thanos? It's oh. Thanos. And yeah. Thanos. For those of you who follow it who, who are following, following it. the whole Marvel Universe thing at the end of uh, oh what was it Thor 2 the collector is shown and he has the first infinity, infinity stone yeah he has the first infinity that. stone and then in Galaxy the Guardians and then of the Galaxy uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy the whole thing is about the second infinity stone so there's going to be a here, I'm going to skip forward a little bit before we get into that one, too. But, uh, I mean, there's also rumors of Drax. Is that how you say his name? Yeah, yeah Drax. Uh, big role in Avengers 3. Plus, uh, possibly, Avenger, or there's going to be a Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and he's going to probably be showing up in Avenger, or Avengers 3. Yeah, I was... um To connect the Thanos quest to collect all the Infinity Stones. Yeah, I was re actually reading about that, the Drax could have a, possibly have a big role in Avengers 3 where it leads no not because Avengers he was 3, the one Avengers that 2, the second where, it, where it leads into the crossover and crossover, all that Guardians Galaxy well let's hope because I mean that's going to be good and I said that could ha possibly happen in the third movie yeah that would be great because I, I know that would help him a lot third Avengers movie and then we got next on our greatest list it will be Deadpool Oh, the long-awaited Deadpool. Yeah, so, I'm going to let these two handle this one. I hope they take a while for this. Because so, this is all needed. As we all know, the release date is February 12th? Um, I don't, I don't know. Is it the 12th? Wait, wait. I want to say it is, but I'm not 100% positive. So, drum roll if you can. We, we just know it's coming out in February 2016. Expected February 12th, 2016. February 12th, okay. Um, and... So far... So far we have one cast member r rumored for a way... Uh, it's going to be Ryan Reynolds playing right Wade Wilson and Deadpool. Oh, yeah. And that's rumored, though. And well, everybody he, knows... He, he replayed Deadpool, in a way. And... Origins. And Origins Wolverine. Oh. Still, though, but you know, they just have that rumor they could all change. They do, then they're stupid. <laughs> but Ryan Reynolds is supposedly going to be Wade Wilson, otherwise known as Deadpool, for those of you who don't know his real name. Uh, shit, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. There's going to be in... What X-Men movie was it? Origins? No, it's in one of the newer ones. It's like, uh... Wait, wait, wait. I'm just not reading this. Ryan Reynolds confirmed the, that this Deadpool will have no connections to the Deadpool scene in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Oh, good. No connections. So, well, yeah. We gotta figure that out, but... So, basically, we'll be a part of the X-Men universe. Well, that's right out the window. So, in the newest uh, X-Men movie coming out, he's going to have a little segment where it's splitting off into the next Avengers afterwards, or X-Men afterwards, and then it's going into the Deadpool movie. So it's so going to split off into two different ways. You got the X-Men, Armageddon, I think that's what the next one's called, I don't remember. And then you got Deadpool. 
pretty much. Interesting. That's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to do that. I, I can't wait for that to come out. The, the, you have the release date written down. Oh yeah, just the release date is gonna be. It will hit theaters in winter of 2016. Is what the thing said. Basically, winter could be the beginning of the year. So let's hope it comes out on time. Cause yeah. you know how producers and filmmakers love not to do that. They say February 12th, but we don't really know. And then now we got Age of Ultron. Ooh. Avengers 2. Basically, if you haven't noticed, there's going to be a new uh, main superhero named Vision. Basically, the involved version of the previous character, Jervis. Ooh. He's going to be smart and computerized. You mean Jarvis? What did I say? Jervis. Jervis with an E. God damn, I need to stop playing League. Where can we title names for Deadpool um, <clears throat> in the U.S.? Deadpool, may, Deadpool leads the Marvel Universe. It's going to come out no matter what. And then X-Men Deadpool. Who knows what the hell it's going to be. Yeah, but uh, I, I think the Age of Ultron is going to like make or break this. Because if you have to think of comic books, how that goes. Uh, well, you, you see in some of the comic books, they use characters from different... Universes. Companies and universes that shouldn't be there. I mean, the whole Marvel universe exists in Earth, but with superhumans, otherwise known as mutants, and superheroes such as uh, oh, Iron Man. And oh, all of them. that's also one of their posters for the Avengers Two. Showed the if you haven't finished the Captain America Two, the Winter Soldier, and you see the two. Uh, Superhumans, mm -hmm. as they're calling them, not mutants. Um, those are going to be previewed or previewed into the Avengers Two, the Age of Ultron, which is going to be great. Oh no, we got an update. There's going to be an Avatar Two in production right now. What? Pre-production expected to Christmas of 2016. Uh oh, this oh, is going to be good. Oh boy, big more big blue men. Oh, and there's a third one, too. And everybody shoots themselves. Um, and they're just really... Trying to make money now. Now they're just fishing. Oh, wait. Here, and then there's this one, too. Four, really? Four Avatar movies. Twenty uh, Avatar 4, 2018. Probably get pushed back in 2020. Avatar 3, 2017. Avatar 2, 2016. Yeah. Oh, my Jesus. And it was Cameron... Good. Let's, okay, let's, what other movies are re, are becoming popular now? I mean, Fantastic Four. Oh, that is coming out. Fantastic Four. August 7th, the reboot. August 7th, 2015. I'm surprised you know that right off the bat. Um, <laughs> this, okay, this sure. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, they're going to put a... Tell us about the human torch in that one. Uh, let's see. So it's... Who Not the original the cast. The Human Torch is played by... Michael B. Jordan. Mi yeah, Michael B. Jordan. Oh, okay, I have a question. For all you guys that are fans of the, the X-Men series, or... Not the X-Men, the DC Universe, if you guys can comment what uh, Suicide Squad is going to be about, please comment on that one. Oh. Well, Okay. We just got thing. We got production status and development for the Justice League Part One. This is gonna be interesting because it just says release date 2017. That's gonna be interesting because that's another make or break for the DC universe. We don't have a title or anything. Well, well you, we have a title. We just don't have a month or date. Well, let's not, okay. I I follow DC. The these two follow more of the Marvel. Yep. But mm -hmm. with DC, yep. well, you're going to have Batman being Ben Affleck. If you're going to watch the Batman vs. Superman, and you're Ben, if you're not 
fan of Ben Affleck, but you're gonna probably soon be there. Let's see, you're gonna have Ben Affleck playing in Bruce Wayne. Well, yeah. Amy Adams playing Lois Lane. Henry Cavill playing Clark Kent. Jason hmm. Moma playing Aquaman. Oh God, I Gal Gadot it. Aquaman. Diana movie. is playing Diana Prince. And Ray Fisher is playing Victor Stone, otherwise known as Cyborg. Oh yeah, oh, they're shit. also. They're also making in 2020 a uh, cyborg movie plus oh. a Green Lantern movie. Oh, oh yeah, I think I heard about that. And then in 2018, they're going to make their Aqu- Aquaman, so. Just like I read about that, too, they're making a fifth. They want to make the fifth Indiana Jones. Oh my god. More spoilers. But they want to. What they, pretty much what they want to do bring back a lot of the old movies and continue, like. That's For example, sad. Star Wars Episode Seven. Oh, but here's some years unknown for you guys for super movies for the comics release. There's gonna be a Thor three year unknown X Men unknown Gambit. Oh my God, I can't wait for that one. <laughs> Sorry, I love Gambit. He throws cards like no other. Uh, Sandman, which I don't understand. Sandman. Is it is it like gonna be from Spider Man or what? I hope so. If not, I'm going to laugh. And then we got in, or Justice League uh, Dark. A super mo- or Superman movie and another Batman movie. Untitled for unsuited reasons. But they're playing out with the roster I'm looking at. They're coming out with a lot of movies just to make comic books more reasonable for us. But I can't wait until... Uh, for the Big Hero 6 that comes out, which I don't understand why they made it on this. Because it's technically about superheroes. How? Explain to me. The whole movie is called Big Hero 6, but I don't know much about it. Over 40 DC and Marvel movies will hit theaters in the next six years. Oh shit. Let's hope this works out for you guys. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So 2015, we have The Avengers, Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Ant-Man, and the Fantastic Four. Sweet. 2016, we have Deadpool, Batman vs. Superman, Cap- Captain America 3, X-Men Apop- Apocalypse, Doctor Strange, okay, well, unofficial, unofficial, not happening. But wait, wait let's, let's talk about Doctor Strange. If you guys ever want... Okay, Doctor Strange... How can we put him? A major badass in the superhero world for... Isn't he DC or Marvel? Uh, he's Marvel. Alright, so... Yeah, Marvel. Let's see. He's just a tall badass that can just do whatever he wants. Dr. Hugo Strange. Ah. I, I don't... I can't, I can't really explain a lot about him because I... You don't follow him, do you? I try to... And then I kind of stirred away from the comics. Well, you also under- you also got to think Doctor Strange also introduced Black Cat, which is part of the Sinister Six, plus Sinister Six is part of the Amazing Spider-Man. So, you know there's going to have a big, huge crossover for that. Not to be rude or anything, but I'm, I'm reading these. Yeah, you were right. Uh, uh, April 3rd, 2020, Cyborg, and then June 19th, 2020, Green Lantern. Yeah, I mean, they're... Hmm. And then there's two unlisted... The Batman... Batman solo film and Superman. Yeah, that's going to be the Batman 2 and Superman 2. But the thing is, from... 2017. 2017. The Venom Carnage. 2019, there is a lot of unannounced Marvel movies. But for 2019, there's going to be a Shazam. We all know who Shazam is for DC fans out there. It's Captain Shaz- or not Captain. His original name was Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, that's right, but they had to change it because it was a copy infringement with Marvel Universe. But here, let me read some of this. 2015 through 2016 is a calm before the storm. We go from three films to six, then from six to nine in 2017. Damn. We're not counting any animated features. The list is compromised of live action the theatrical releases. Sony has yet to date three of their movies. Holy fuck. 
There are 30 DC Marvel films currently scheduled, 28 officially from 2015 to 2020. For all the studios, the plan is mostly set from now until 2018, but after that, we've yet to see or hear what's happening from the studios with Marvel properties. Following Fox's current trend, there will be at least one to two X-Men FF movies in both 2019 and 2020, so we can add two to, two to four to their number. Recall, there's interest and or scripts ready for Deadpool, Gambit, X-Force. Okay, I have a question. What is X-Force? Because I used to be a big X-Men fan until everything else hit the drain. Have you ever even heard of X-Force? Me either. Isn't it like... Um, X-Force is a fictional Marvel Comics superhero team. The spinoff, uh, one of several spinoffs of the popular X-Men franchise. Okay, so it's one of those, uh, timelines. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, another universe. Oh, man. Marvel's notorious for doing this. I hate... That's why I don't follow Marvel that often, because they do that a lot. They do it a lot, but sometimes they're... Sometimes it's really good. Like, the one that I really wanted to read is, um... It's not... It was like, uh, House of X. Something like that. I don't remember the exact name, but it... It kind of tied into Marvel Zombies and a bunch of other, like, oh. characters and stuff. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. And it had to do with time travel. And that was when I was big into uh, reading in about Nikolai Tesla. Dude, and, that's hey, a, that's another know. conversation we'll have later on. <laughs> but it had to do with uh, Tony Stark's dad at some point fighting Nikolai Tesla or something like that. Uh, it's like a huge conspiracy, and I really wanted to read that one. So I'm reading about the film. Uh, on December 3rd, 2013, Rob Liefeld confirmed that Cable and Deadpool will be appearing in that film. Oh, shit. X- X-Force. Wait, wait, wait. What? So, as you just heard, uh, okay. Cable and Deadpool will be appearing in X-Force. Wait, wait, wait. What's Cable? You don't know who Cable is? Cable. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cable you. is a fictional character, a superhero appearing in comics books. The character first appeared as Nathan Summers in Uncanny X-Men. Huh. What is his superpowers or mutation? Powers and abilities. Okay. I think he mostly ties in with that. Okay, with tele- telepathic and telekinesis abilities. So basically, he's another Professor X, but can no, actually walk. However, the extent to which he has been able to utilize his powers have varied dramatically throughout his appearances. Originally, both were limited by his need to restrain his techno-organic infection, and his powers were ineligible. Compared. Compared to his more traditional fighting skills, however, following the steps and subsidence of the infection, the, then they gradually... Increased the, to the point where they were similar in magnitude of those of Nate Gray, to whom he is genetically identical. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. That sounds interesting. I might have to. If they do make a movie of that, I'll probably have to watch it. Or read the comic books. Best bet: just read the comic books and go see the movies. They're probably a far much better. Following Sony's current trend, there will be at least one Spider-Man movie in 2019 and 2020. So, so we can add two or three to their number. So basically, they're just fishing for more. Following Marvel's growing trend, there will be at least two to three features in 2019, 2020, so we can add four to six to their number. Conservative, conservative estimate is that there will be a minimum of 38 DC Marvel movies over the next six years. If the drawing room keeps, com- keeps performing as it is now, there will easily be well over 40. And then in parentheses, there's an update that says there are more now. Holy shit. Damn. So basically... Thank you, DC. Yeah, Marvel. Marvel for... So basically what our friend is saying is we're just going to have a shit ton... Or shit storm Be up. prepared for <clears throat> good movies, just like... So here's a timeline that we're about to look at. It's actually an infograph, but... Timeline infograph, same thing. Who gives a flying fuck? So okay. we got the Avengers May 1st. May 1st, Avengers. 
Fantastic Four, June 19th in 2015. Ant-Man, July 17th. Can't wait for that one. 2016. <laughs> Captain America 3. And then, of course, the long-awaited Batman vs. Superman. In March 25th. And then uh, May 27th. Uh, X-Men Apocalypse. And then an untitled... Marvel film on July 8th. July 8th. And then an un- <clears throat> untitled DC film August 5th. That's going to be interesting. Uh, November 11th is The Sinister Six. Can't wait for that one. Oh, me either. The Wolf- 2017. Oh, shit. 2017. The Wolverine 2. March 3rd. March 3rd. That's May gonna be- 5th, uh, untitled Marvel film. June 23rd, untitled DC film. Right there, though. They're making a second one, though. Okay. July 14th is uh, Fantastic Four 2. July 28th. And then a couple, Guardians like a Galaxy. week or two after that, is Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy 2. Can't wait for that. Okay, and then we got... <coughs> oh, okay, I'm going to let them talk about the next two, because I want to talk about this. So, November 3rd and 17th, there's going to be an untitled Marvel film. An untitled DC film. Okay. And then, no, 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 I want to talk about this because oh, this okay. is something I want to talk about. Okay, we got to be announced an untitled Sony spin off of Spider Man with a female lead. So basically, what they're going to do is introduce Spider Girl into this or Spider Woman, whatever one you want to go for. And then also Venom and Carnage. And Venom and Carnage, oh, dude, that's the one thing I can't wait for. But then, like, 2018, there's so far, there's only one announced. And that'd Which, be there's no, the yeah. Amazing Spider-Man three, and that's to to be announced. Which there's no set date, but then look at this: March twenty third, Untitled DC; May fourth, Untitled Marvel; July sixth, Untitled Marvel; July twenty seventh, Untitled DC; July thirteenth, Untitled Fox. Fox; November second, Untitled Marvel. Keep there's on going. A lot of Untitled, Untitled. Then you get twenty nineteen, and then un- <laughs> April fifth, Untitled DC; May third, Untitled Marvel; June fourteenth, Untitled DC, and then. April 3rd. 2020. April 3rd. Untitled DC. Basically, there could be more after 2019. There's going to be more uh, movies <laughs> there that we're probably not going to find out. But still, though, like I read, that 2015, 2016 is the calm before the storm. Let's hope it goes well. Because let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 7, 8, 9, 9 in 2017. Where in 2016, there's only one, two, two three, four, four five, five, six. 2015 is only three. 2015, next year is going to be, like, really calm. And then 2016, they're slowly inclining. 2017, climax. And 2018, it's going to go well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to, no. Right. That's when they're. 2017 is when they start to slow down. 2018, actually. Oh, 18, you mean? Because 2017, they have nine. So they're the highest peak. And then. Oh, right. 2018, they're going down to seven. 2019, down to three. 2020, down to one. So far, there could be more. But okay, first of all, since we're going to be. Soon, there's going to be uh, the Sinister Six. You already saw a sneak preview uh, in. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Towards the end, you got the Rhino. You get that, the introduction of the Rhino. I get, and, but if you see when the guys, that creepy old guy is just walking down the hall, you got you got to see um, Dr. Ock's arms, and then you saw the Vulture. Wait, what was the name of this article? Sinister Six roster and production start date revealed. Oh, I thought it was five months ago, but still. But, um, you're going to get that, and then you already know the Green Goblin, or if you want to go into detail, it's the Hobgoblin. Yeah. And then they're going to probably be introducing the Black Cat, where <coughs> that's technically, spoiler alert, Spider-Man's second lover. <laughs> um... Oh no, I forgot the fifth one. Oh crap. I, I can't remember. Ah. Uh, Wasn't one of them Nova? No. What? Could it have been the Venom and Carno? 
Do you want? Wait, what are we talking about? Sinister Six, which because you got well, the, the roster. Oh, really? Doctor Octopus. Yeah. Green Goblin. Goblin. Craven the Hunter. Never heard of him. Rhino. Vulture. Black Cat. Wait, Question wait, wait. mark. Because that could be. Wait, 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 go back up. Who's Carvin the Hunter? I've never heard of him. Craven the Hunter. Yeah. We're, we have our uh, research and development here. In, in development. <laughs> you never know. He could be helpful. Some days. Craven the Hunter. We're just looking up details and stuff. He is an enemy of Spider-Man. No. He uh, he's better really? known as uh, Craven's name is Sergey Kravinov. He is the half brother of Dmitry Smirnikov. Really, to the chameleon. Known as the chameleon. Oh, oh. okay. If none of you know, if you ever seen the uh, original series of the Amazing Spider-Man, that might help you a little bit, like give you like small sneak peeks of what's going on. But you never know. So they're basically stepping back into their roots. So which is good. His powers and abilities. He, I'm digging it. Craven cranks himself a number of abilities, including sufficient Superman strength, superhuman strength, speed, stamina, agility, and reflexes in making a physical threat to Spider-Man. Well, you also gotta think he's Craven the Hunter. Hunter, you have to be agile. So I mean, yeah. And then you got Spider-Man who just jumps around, jumps around, uses a fucking web, and hits some guy in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love Amazing Spider-Man 1. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Mark Webb confirmed that Craven's spear appears in the end credits for the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, that was the spear in the in the case by um, by the uh, wow, I forgot where it was by. I want to say it was by Dr. Octopus's uh, arms. Yeah, probably. Or it's between them and the Vulture, but I don't remember. I just want to see the end credits, though. I don't want to see the whole... Then go to images. Deleted scenes. But hey. Well, it's the deleted end scene credits, so let's see. If you guys... Here, mute it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're watching this. We're rolling. We're rolling. Green Goblin. We'll put this link up so you guys can watch it too. kind of freaking back here. Can we skip part of this? I just want to see what where the spear was. Oh my god. Alright, so we're not going to put this because this sucks. Uh, Wait, 
I saw Sandman being a part of this. Well, that wasn't after the credits. It was actually, like, post-credits. Yeah. That was... Never mind, we're not gonna put that on there, because that was really, really shitty. Just put in the, um... Alright, first of all, just go into images. Well, we got about 15 minutes left, so you wanna talk about, like, uh possible plots for these upcoming movies and stuff. Oh, yes. Let's go for it. Which one do we want to talk about? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah. And, and Avengers. Also. Sorry, I have never seen the first Guardians of the Galaxy. That's well, what... everyone knows that it's about the second In stone. Fact, yeah, the second one. I, I found that out through the article. So, what did he do? I don't know that yet. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, but... Okay, okay, so, check it, check it, check it. so okay. let's see, you got right there yeah. Dr. Octopus. The, have you guys all seen The Amazing Spider Man 2 through the end credits? You might get lucky with it. So I wonder if it's that, my vulture. Yeah. That's yeah. that one's vulture. I yeah. Did, did, did you not just read this? What's that? It's a ball. Hmm. So, what so I think. Avengers uh, 2. Oh, Avengers 2. Well, that's the age of Ultron. So basically, Obviously, it's about Ultron, but at the end... Oh, let me let me go into that. Ultron is basically, if no one read the comic books, here's a little spoiler. Th okay, think of the Iron Avengers. The Iron Avengers are what? Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on here. Hold <gasps> okay, breaking news. Venom so, was introduced in Amazing Spider-Man 2 in the delete, or not delete scenes, and at the end credits, it was the, um, I'm really amazed, that just, oh my god, so that's what that ball was, so, the Venom symbiote is in Amazing Spider-Man 2, at the end, at the end with, uh, Harry Osborn, or Harry Osborn with the severed head. Oh my god. Um, I'm shitting pricks. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, like, that's intense, because you gotta realize it's hard <laughs> trying to figure that out, but I want to see this spear that they call in this. Oh, spear? Yeah, it's the spear of Crane. That's just an animation of the vulture. Yeah, but still, though. But let's continue about Avengers 2. Okay, Avengers 2. We got. That's what you said. Hmm. Okay, so we got the Avengers 2. Age of Ultron. What I was saying. Okay, Tony Stark made the Iron Avengers because you gotta realize. Obviously. Black Widow. And, uh. Captain America, kind of, yeah, I think. They're not going to live forever. Well, sorry. None of them will live forever. So they need a... If only. Yeah. They needed a surrogate, but the first, really, Iron Avenger was Iron Man. But he wanted to make one because he knew he was going to last forever, so he made Ultron. Ultron's basically the worst of the worst. Basically, Ultron was the mistake of... Ver he was, like, the first... Uh, vision, if you want to put it that way, that he was trying to make, but it didn't end well. But I see that being a really good movie. The only issue I would have with it is if they don't incorporate some of the storyline from the comic book, or like skipping some small details. If, if it's like minor details, then I'll pass it, but if it's something like where it's plot changing, then I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, exactly. I... <laughs> I'm still geeking out over that Venom thing, dude. That's like... Oh, yeah, dude. that's... But how are they going to introduce Carnage? It, okay, sorry. We're going to skip over to uh, Venom and Carnage, the movie. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you, let's think. You got to think here. Well, that's, that's the spear. Well, are they not going to show it in the movie? Or is that what they showed in the movie? That's what they showed in the movie. Okay, well, that's really, really stupid. Okay. 
Anyways. But, um... So you, but, um... Venom and Carnage, well, you, you get to see the, um... The... The ooze of Venom, or the symbiote. The symbiote of Venom. But how are you going to get the symbiote of, uh, Carnage? I don't fucking know. Because Carnage is basically the brother of... The, uh... Of Venom, if you want to say. And Venom was the extract of the rage or jealousy of Spider Man. If you follow the really, 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 really shitty movies of Spider Man 1 through 3. The one featuring Tobey Maguire, which Stanley decided not to do. Stanley didn't do them. And yet they made them anyways. Oh, and there's... Ooh. What is that? This is Venom Storage. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know. Weird. Let me go here. In the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer. Trailer. It's from the trailer, though. Hinting at Venom. Okay, basically... We're, we're going a lot around this place, but... What's your thoughts of being the Paul out for Venom and Carnage? Mr. Sheepy Hacker. I can't wait. Really? That's all you had? You don't know what I, the plot twist would be? I don't know. I can't say because I, I never followed it. How can you, you... We'll have this discussion now. <laughs> well, mostly because I never had access to the comics. I only had access to some few from the 80s, and those were my dead uncle's comics. Sorry, sir. So... <laughs> I only had limited resources. Yeah, that is true. I didn't read the comics. I actually just know this from multiple things. But my theory for uh, the, I guess you could say, after the credit scene for Avengers 2 is that it's somehow going to play into the third stone either in the middle of the movie, somewhere near the end of the movie, or at the final ending scene of said movie. And now we're looking at the Venom storage Dr. thing again. Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Morbius? Dr. Morbius. Why does that sound familiar? There's, there's one that's a Dr. Morbius file in the trailer. Hmm. If anybody can help us with this, because we're probably going to figure it out pretty soon. Dr. Morbius. Hmm. That's new. But I can't wait until all this goes. Obviously... Uh, Avengers 3 is going to cross over somehow with Guardians of the Galaxy because Thanos actually gets off of his lazy ass and fights. Okay. He's going to get the Infinity Gauntlet. And I'm sure everybody remembers at the end of Avengers when Thanos was out in space and looking at everybody. And he turned towards the camera and smiled, and that was the end of the movie. Okay, which one was Thanos? I don't remember at all. Hey, can you look up a picture of Thanos for him? Because I used to watch the TV shows. Wait, I think I do. Okay. Oh, it's the big buff guy. The big buff guy with the Infinity Gauntlet. Now I remember. When, okay, the one thing is I hope they can do is the... Uh, Silver Surfer. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. If they actually... Oh god. Ooh. Silver Surfer. Ooh, I like how I got the reactions out of these two. I mean, the Silver Surfer, you gotta think. What the hell? I mean, Thanos was the... Um, no. I think the Silver Surfer and Thanos had a thing, but I don't remember if it was the right one. Because you gotta think, Marvel... Was well... Movies... Marvel always had a villain that had friends. Another theory of mine is that within, or between Avengers 2 and Avengers 3, Fantastic Four is going to somehow slide its way into the Avengers timeline. And this is, I believe that's the picture from uh, the Avengers end scene. But that's the Infinity Gauntlet right there with all seven stones. No, that was in Guardians of the Galaxy. That was, yeah. No, it wasn't. 
He only had the second stone. And at the end scene for Guardians of the Galaxy, as we all know, it was Howard the Duck. That, that, that should have been after the, this after the credits, though. Not the complete end scene. Oh my god. Let's go Howard the Duck. We always need a duck. Okay, so... Sadly, I, I wanted to talk about that. Howard the Duck. Uh, we all know Howard the Duck from the 80s. Was the greatest movie ever, by the way. People are wondering, what's his connection to Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes, what is the connection? Well, the Collector obviously had him locked up in one of the scenes in the movie. Uh, I believe it was this picture right here. Me and Monferno actually went and saw this. And in the background, I noticed Howard the Duck, and I was flipping out. You almost shit yourself. I, I did. And I recorded the end scene with uh, Howard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have it. He, Still. He still has it on his iPhone. Uh, but it shows Cosmo, the Russian space dog, and also uh, Howard the Duck. So, what's the connection with Guardians? Well, I don't know. I, I can't really come up with anything besides the fact that he m will be getting a remake, but... Wait, Howard's getting a remake? Yeah, apparently. I mean, it's just a little suspicious at the fact that he's at the end credit. And... That makes it... I don't think it was this, though. No, because this is from Avengers. No. And then if you scroll up, it shows him in the throne from Guardians, which is Thanos. I just went from Howard to fucking Thanos, but... Because <clears throat> why not? But, uh... Howard, the only explanation I can really give for him being in there is a remake. He in, in the post credit scene post credits scene in the Avengers and expects it to appear in, in the upcoming Avengers sequels. Okay, C.P. Acker. I know my Marvel movies. <laughs> okay, C.P. Acker. You win. You just got and one then, up, bitch. If you scroll up here... You should start crying like a little bitch now. Because you <laughs> lost. You, uh... Right here. This is in Guardians. So basically, what you're saying is that he's just slowly building up tension. He's, it's, while sitting on his throne, he's building up tension within the fans. And is sending out his subjects to different parts of the Marvel Universe to collect the stones for him. And then he's going to become the supreme badass. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't remember seeing that, though, in the, at the end of the Avengers. You sure? Yeah, because I saw it. I torrented my copy, and it was there. I saw it in theaters. I don't remember seeing it. Like, I don't remember it. I probably didn't It probably pay. was there, but I just really didn't pay attention. Same here. Because all I know is that at the end of the movie, I they... fell asleep. Oh my god. What? That's the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet. Gauntlet. But what movie? Thor? That I could have told you that. But wait. Oh. Wait. Josh's decision to have Thanos turn around and s smile to the audience at the end of Avengers, it was always the plan to show that the Tesseract was in indeed an Infinity Stone. A lot of that will tie first into Guardians of the Galaxy, which comes out next year, and then where it goes. So from technically, there, we'll here see. let's let's do a spoiler alert. There's see, they already found three. See right there. That's that's the end of it, of the end of the Avengers. So technically, you're wrong. He didn't have the Infinity Gauntlet. He just turned around and smiled. Okay. You said he had the Infinity Gauntlet. You lied. That's I, a lie. But I did so say wait, that he had the Infinity so Gauntlet. They've but already found three stones. The Tesseract is. Uh, I think that one's the stone that controls reality. Space. 
there's one that controls time and space, and then there's one that controls reality itself, where you can literally bend the laws of physics with it. Ooh, trippy. And I think that's what the Tesseract was. So we also learned the average amount of time probably. It says In the end of Thor the Dark we, World. We also learned that we also learned that the Avengers non comic Marvel movie fan will soon learn what the Infinity Stones are, which is most definitely the biggest lead into the rumored Infinity Gauntlet story that will most likely take place in Guardians of the Galaxy sequel or Avengers three. The Infinity Stones are six stones teased at the end of Thor of the Dark World that, once united with the Infinity Gauntlet seen below, gives the Welder unlimited power. Well, I hate to cut it right here, because we're just getting into the basis of all this, but yeah! but we have gone over the time limit. Well, we can keep on going, but we can probably segment it off in the... We'll, we'll most likely do a second part of this. Yeah, and uh, there we have a lot of questions. What I'm looking at is this, though. Still, we've got a lot of questions, and we don't necessarily have answers yet. But this is Pixel Entertainment. I am CP Hacker ninety five here with Monferno and Noob Thunder. And a little shout out: I will have my stuff. I'll have my channel up and running possibly next month. So be expecting that. He'll be helping us with videos and vice versa. Uh, once again, this is Pixel Entertainment signing out.